Hello everyone, Phil here, and welcome to another KO Gaming Mini Review, where I run down my thoughts on a recent release that maybe doesn't warrant a full review for various reasons, but I still feel like talking about it. Today we're going to be talking about Yakuza 5, a game which I just had the pleasure of completing after almost two months of kind of balancing it with the other stuff in my schedule. Now the reason that this is a mini review and not a full-fledged one, number one, because the game's two months old, and number two, because in reality, the game's actually over three years old. That's right, Yakuza 5 was actually released in Japan way back when in 2012, it just took the company more than three years to port the game for Western audiences, and Therefore, it would be unfair for me to be comparing a game from 2012 against newer releases, but I still wanted to talk about the game because I put so much time and effort into it and really did enjoy my experience. Much like the other games in the series, Yakuza 5 allows you to control multiple characters as they go through their own dramatic stories in different locations in Japan. In this particular case, Yakuza 5 takes you to four different urban locations, all of which have their own unique flair, shops, local restaurants, and they really immerse you in the Japanese culture, bringing in things such as Club Sega or Hostess Clubs and things that you would only really see if you were in, in Japan. And that's one of the coolest things about the Yakuza series is how immersive it is by sucking you into that culture as you're playing the game. Of course, longtime series protagonist Kiryo Kazuma makes his return, as well as two of the new character favorites from the previous installment Yakuza 4, Akiyama and Saijima, along with the combination of a new character, Shinada, who's a washed up baseball player banned from the sport supposedly for fixing games, and of course one major part of his story is finding out what the truth is behind that. And then the character that I don't think anyone saw coming, Haruka Sawamura. That's right, Haruka, that little girl who's been part of the Yakuza series over all these years, who originally was an orphan, who Kiryu had to help way back when in Yakuza 1 and 2, now has grown up into a budding teenager and is training to be a teen idol, which again is part of the big cultural thing in Japan. And let me tell you, it is a far departure from the typical combat, running around, doing side questing, when you finally control Haruka and you're doing things such as singing and dance battles and shaking hands with your fans, it's a very different thing and it certainly adds to the variety of the game. But outside of playing with Haruka, everything in Yakuza 5 is pretty formulaic. You're going to be wandering around an open world urban part of whatever city you may be in during that portion of the story. You're going to be randomly encountering thugs, criminals, and other Yakuza in the streets who are going to want to fight you. As you fight, you're going to be leveling up and unlocking new kind of skills, heat moves that will build up during combat, fill up a meter, and allow you to do some kind of a fancy and flashy finisher. You'll also be collecting money and items that you'll be selling to make more money so that you can later on get better items such as armor for your characters, maybe you can level up and buy higher level weapons to use in further combat, and of course, the formula of being able to do tons and tons of side content is retained in Yakuza 5, whether it's going to a nightclub, whether it's doing story specific side content for each character. It's a lot of fun and it adds tons of replayability to a game that if you really were just playing for the story, you could probably be in around 15 hours. You could probably double to triple the length of your gameplay time if you actually seek out all of the side stuff in the game. Some of my favorite side content in Yakuza 5 included Kiryu's questline where he's a taxi driver who's picking up fares. And it's really cool because not only are you simulating actual safe driving techniques, which you almost never do in these open world style games, but you're also dealing with the quirky personalities of the citizens of Japan. And it really is a unique and funny experience for as long as it lasts. In addition, some of Shinada's side content where he actually has to try to do baseball simulation, you know, going in a batting cage or being a pinch hitter and seeing him level up and getting a better eye for the ball and getting better equipment that allows you to hit the balls easily uh, the further that you progress was actually a lot of fun and something unique and different from the side content from previous Yakuza games. Some content I didn't particularly like, well, there's just one segment when Saijima is up in this mountainous region and he's hunting animals and bears and it's just too far drawn out, it takes too long, you're returning to the same areas over and over, it gets really repetitive, and the fact that that side quest line takes around 3-4 to four hours to complete really adds the length of the game, and I think that it could have done without it. In addition, when at first you're playing with Haruka and you're doing things like singing and dance battles in the streets, it's actually kind of fun, 
until you realize there's only three songs you're ever going to sing, there's only maybe four styles of dance, and after you've done this at length and ad nauseum repeating it over and over, you're going to realize how boring it is. If they had had more songs or more dancing in the game, maybe it would have been a lot more interesting, but I really feel that they kind of dropped the ball there and made it far too repetitive, especially because it is a unique and new part of the Yakuza franchise to have this kind of teen idol stuff in it. I think that it could have been done a little bit better. Now, Yakuza 5 saw many improvements over its predecessors, including graphics, improved combat, better dialogue options, and tons more side content than ever before. But the one major improvement that is startling that I have to call out and say, yes, thank you. On your minimap, it shows you where most of the side content is located by showing little question marks. When I was playing Yakuza 4 last year, I didn't even know that 90% of the side content existed in the game because the minimap wasn't calling it out. Now they added that, it makes the game so much more fun to run around and immediately jump into a side mission rather than wandering around this open world city not knowing if there's anything there or if you're just wasting your time. So bravo for that addition, it was my favorite in the entire game. Ultimately, Yakuza 5 does adhere to the traditional formula. Every character here is going to have some kind of dramatic turn, some kind of association with Yakuza and a tie to it. Yes, even Haruka, if you can believe it. There's murders, there's criminals, there's illegal street races, there's everything you could possibly think of thrown together. Yes, there are four major acts in the game which cover the four major characters, with one of those acts being split between Haruka and Akiyama. And then there's a final act that where all the characters finally come together and they kind to interact and it's the the big finale with big boss fights and everything at the biggest highest level just as you've come to expect from Yakuza so it's pretty par for the course except for some of the new additions of side content I like that and I think that longtime fans of the series are definitely going to enjoy the game Unfortunately, though, I really don't think that this series has done a good job of trying to adapt itself to a wide stream audience. And what I mean by that is unless you're heavily into Japanese culture or you like some of the references and things in this game as if you were an otaku or a fan of Japanese culture in general, it's going to be a hard game to swallow and get into. And I noticed as I was playing this game, just like when I was playing Yakuza 4 last year, that a lot of people were interested at the start and then kind of fell off because they said, eh, it's just more repetition of combat in the streets and the side content's kind of weird and quirky and the game's far too drawn out and you know what i kind of have to agree there i'd have to say i wish that there was a way they could maybe integrate a change to the yakuza series that would make it more digestible to a widespread audience because even though i am a fan of japanese culture i think that this game series has tons of production value put into it and deserves to be viewed by a wider audience but when you have a game that's 60 hours long 40 of which is side content 20 of which is the main story but out of that 10 hours of repetitive street combat, it's going to be really hard to snag someone who's not already a fan of the series or, again, a fan of the Japanese culture. So, all in all, Yakuza 5 is a very entertaining experience. Longtime fans of the series are definitely going to like this game. The only major gripe I really have with it, the story is a little weak and convoluted and really doesn't come together until the very last act of the game, which is okay, but at the same time, it would have been nice if maybe, they, again, they had found a way to make the story a little bit different and not the same dramatic last-second twists and turns that they always do in these Yakuza games, but I digress. If you're a long-time fan of the series, you're going to love Yakuza 5 and definitely check it out. If you're not a fan of Yakuza, you may find it a little hard to swallow, but I really feel that if you're patient and you give it time and you let it sink in a little bit, you're going to become a fan. That's exactly what happened to me with Yakuza 4 last year, and that's why I really enjoyed playing Yakuza 5 so much recently. So that's it for KO Gaming's Yakuza 5 mini review that I sure hope you enjoy. If you did, check out the description of the video where there's a link directly to my full playlist of my raw, unedited game playthrough of Yakuza 5, as well as links to our Amazon Associates account, as well as our Patreon account. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time for another mini review.